With a large concentration of volcanoes and glaciers, the country of Iceland is known as the land of fire and ice. The United States of America has its own version of the land of fire and ice. The state of Alaska is referred to as the last frontier. It could also be referred to as America's land of fire and ice. Alaska has more volcanoes and more glaciers than any other state in the United States of America. And there are reasons for this. Geography and geology come together in this instance. Alaska is located where the North American plate and the Pacific plate meet. The Pacific plate is subducted underneath the North American plate. And around this area, you have the Aleutian subduction zone. This also happens to be where the Aleutian Islands are. With the Pacific Plate being denser and heavier than the North American Plate, it plunges very far below the surface. Heat and pressure increase to the point where fluids are released from the crust. Because of this, minerals rich in silica are melted and they turn into magma. The magma forces its way up. These are the processes that take place at the Aleutian subduction zone. Because of this, the lion's share of Alaska's volcanoes are located along the Aleutian subduction zone. This concentration of volcanoes is part of the Aleutian Arc. The Aleutian Arc is part of a region known as the Ring of Fire, where there is a high concentration of earthquakes and volcanoes. In fact, most of the world's earthquakes and volcanic eruptions take place along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Alaska spans the latitudes of 51 degrees to 71 degrees north. Alaska is also a very mountainous state. Alaska has some of the highest mountains in North America, including Denali, the highest point in the North American continent. Lofty mountains and a lofty latitude create the perfect conditions for glaciers. Glaciers are basically big sheets of ice. What happens is that in Alaska, there's a lot of snow in the mountains and it doesn't melt. As it keeps snowing, there's a lot of snow just being compacted. Snow on top of more snow becomes compacted. It turns into ice. The ice, under its own heavy weight, travels in a downward trajectory from the mountain. Alaska can make the legitimate claim as America's version of the land of fire and ice. Geography and geology come together in order to create that. Alaska's location along the ring of fire, Alaska's northerly latitude, Alaska's high mountain, they all help create the volcanoes and glaciers that would give Alaska that legitimate claim. If you like this video, check out other videos on this channel and as always be sure to leave a comment like and subscribe.